Hey guys, welcome back to Based MMA. We have breaking news, guys. Dana White just went live on Instagram to announce a couple of big title fights, guys. After all these months of anticipation and wondering what was happening with Leon Edwards versus Colby Covington, we finally have an official announcement that Leon Edwards versus Colby Covington will be taking place at UFC 296, guys. And I'm kind of surprised by this, guys. I'm kind of surprised by this because I was expecting Leon Edwards and Kobe Covington to be the co-main event of John Jones versus T.P. Miocic just because it kind of made a little bit more sense. You know, Madison Square Garden, Kobe Covington. I don't know why for me, I, it, always, it just always made sense for Kobe Covington and Edwards to fight at MSG. But it seems like it's going to be the main event of UFC 296 in Las Vegas. Which is crazy, guys. It's crazy because, to be totally honest with you guys, I was kind of expecting Sean O'Malley versus Cheeto Vera 2 to be on this card, but it seems like that fight might be getting pushed to January, guys. But I'm so happy that this fight finally got announced after, you know, so much time, so many months wondering what was happening with this fight. And it seems like the rumors of John Jones not wanting to share the car with Kobe Covington were in fact true, man. Because Kobe Covington seemed very on board to share the car with John Jones. I'm pretty sure Leon Edwards was also on board to share the car with John Jones. I'm pretty sure that it was from John Jones' side that he just didn't want to share the car with Kobe Covington. So the UFC decided to put Edwards versus Covington as the main event of UFC, UFC 296, guys. But not only that, guys, we have a guaranteed banger, guaranteed violence. This is the fight that you want to bring your friends over to watch because you know it's going to be crazy for as long as it lasts. And that is Yuri Proaska versus Alex Pereira for the vacant light heavyweight title, man. And this is probably one of the most violent matchups you can make right now in the UFC, man. It's an absolute banger. It's going to be the co-main event of John Jones versus Tipe Miocic, which is, I think is a great, man. It's great because, you know, you have a banger like that. And I'm pretty sure the rest of the main card, they're going to announce some big fights as well. They just announced uh, three title fights. They also announced uh, Brandon Royale versus Pantoja, which I was kind of surprised. I was kind of expecting Brandon Moreno to maybe, you know, maybe they were going to run that back because, you know, they had a pretty competitive fight. But I'm kind of glad that, you know, they're giving Brandon Royale the opportunity to fight for the title. And, you know, Pantoja is going to make a, qu a quick turnaround for December 16, guys. So these announcements are crazy, man. Yuri Proaska versus Alex Pereira. After so much time waiting for Gary Proaska's return after his injury, he's finally back to fight Alex Pereira, man. And I really do believe, man, that Yuri Proaska is going to beat Alex Pereira. I don't know why. I just have the feeling that he's going to find the chin, man. And just the way Alex Pereira looked against uh, John, Blo John Blockowicz and, you know, he was throwing too many hooks. And there was a lot of openings that somebody that is so unorthodox that Yuri Proaska can find on Alex Pereira. But Alex Pereira can also knock... Yuri Proaska, you know, it's just a wild fight. I think it's going to be a very entertaining fight, a banger, a great co-main event to UFC 295 in Madison Square Garden. So I'm so glad that the UFC made this fight, man. And it's just so random for the UFC to drop these huge announcements on a Wednesday night. I don't know where, man. I just checked my Instagram and I see that Dana White is live. I'm like, what the hell is going on? But yeah, guys, we got Edwards versus Covington, and then we got Pantoja versus Royale as a co-main event of that card, which to me, I was a little bit confused by because I thought, you know what, maybe they're going to make uh, Leon Edwards versus Kobe Covington, uh, Sean O'Malley versus Chiro Vera 2 as a co-main event and still have the flyweight title fight. So maybe they still end up doing that, but I mean, I don't see any announcement of Sean O'Malley fighting Chiro Vera for this car so maybe they're gonna push that card to january maybe what they'll do is that they'll do volkanovsky versus toporia in january and then the co-main event is gonna be sean o'malley versus chiro vera too guys but i'm so happy that the ufc is actually making some announcements i'm glad that these fights are taking place man i, I feel like the edwards versus covington fight probably should have taken place like in september october by now it should have that fight should have taken place up by now in my opinion but you know it is what it is I'm glad that it finally got announced, guys. And, man, let's just talk a little bit about Leon Edwards versus Kobe Covington because 
I think it's a very interesting matchup, man. I, I feel like a lot of people are pretty divided when it comes to this fight. I've seen a lot of people pick Leon Edwards. A lot of people pick Colby Covington. They just think the pressure, the durability, the cardio of Colby Covington is going to be way too much for Leon Edwards. And some people think Leon Edwards' experience, his striking is just going to be too much for Colby Covington. I kind of lean on the side of Leon Edwards just because I feel like the fact that he's been an active, that he's been active, that he's been fighting, that he just beat Kamaru Usman, the confidence that he's going to be going into this fight with Kobe Covington, I think is really going to help him out. The fact that Kobe Covington hasn't fought in over a year, you know, he fought Jorge Masvidal and he looked pretty good in the Jorge Masvidal, but the thing is that when you're not active, like Kobe Covington in those first couple of rounds against Leon Edwards, he's going to be trying to get the jitters out. Just kind of like how he did in that Kamaru Usman rematch where he started a little bit hesitant and then kind of worked his way into the fight. I could see something similar happening here, happening here with the Leon Edwards versus Kobe Covington matchup. But a great fight all around. I mean, I could see Kobe Covington winning this fight as well. Very competitive fight in the welterweight division. And I'm glad that there's some movement in the welterweight division. Now I hope that there's more announcements for the welterweight divisions that we get like a Gilbert Burns versus a Shaka Romanov. Maybe an Usman versus Bala Mohamed. We'll see. Maybe Bala Mohamed is going to win on the sidelines. So then I just want to see movement in the welterweight division. And having Edwards versus Covington is going to push, is going to motivate the welterweights to really get matchups and to start fighting and rising in the rankings. So I'm glad that that fight got announced, guys. Very exciting matchup, you know. Gonna buy both these pay-per-views. Yuri Proska versus Alex Pereira, man. You know that fight's gonna be a banger. You know that fight's gonna be amazing for as long as it lasts. Someone's getting finished in a very, very violent way, guys. So, yeah, guys. Those are the announcements that we just got right now, guys. Let me know down in the comments below what you think of these matchups. Who you think are gonna win these matchups. And do you guys believe that Sean O'Malley is still gonna end up fighting by the end of the year? you think that fight's gonna get pushed, guys? Make sure to like the video, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.